Today's video is going to show you how to engrave a DXF using PathPilot's conversational tab. So it's really pretty easy. The first thing you have to do though is use the file tab and in the hub before you come in you have to make sure that you have your DXF um, imported and uh, that's a separate video I'll show you how to do that but once you have your uh, DXF in the hub mine is right here all you have to do is go to conversational and choose DXF mill and right here choose the file double click it'll open up pick your logo once you get your logo and I'm going I've already loaded it so Here's the logo that I want to work with. And there's just a little bit of information that you have to give it. You have to tell it where the Z start is, what the depth of cut is, um, what the end is. So I'm only going to go about seven thousandths deep. And what my X and Y offset are, I'm not going to offset it at all. What your scale is, and if you want to rotate it. So you can scale it, you can rotate it. I'm going to keep this one simple. I'm going to be leave the scale one and I'm going to ro not rotate it at all. I can choose to do my path right on the line or outside the line to the right or inside to the left. And I can choose whichever I want. For what I'm going to do, I want to make sure that it's right on the path <clears throat> because the tool that I'm using, I'm going to go to my offsets and I'll show you uh, the tool that I'm using is uh, Tormox tool number 39165. It's an engraver. And if you just type in the tool number 39165 into this description box, it comes up with everything you need. And I just told it that the length was 0.75. Um, my work offsets for this particular one, I use 3, minus 4, and minus 1. And once you tell it all this information, let's just check our tab just to make sure. Yep, we told it G54 spindle speed uh, feed rate and Z feed rate click on post that'll send it to a GNM code file and then you can click on main and let's try cycle start and there it goes and if you, you notice it's just following the line right on the line you can either offset it to the inside or the outside depending on what you're doing with it if you're gonna go really deep you might want to offset it one way or another uh, play with it until you get the look that you like and you'll be all set.